Native American sculptor Lillian Pitt in describing her artwork. The real magic was when I took a clay class and thought, oh, it was love at first touch. I, uh, I loved the way the clay smelled, the way it felt, the way it looked in various stages of drying. It was, it was as though day by day or hour by hour I could see the visual changes of it and it was just magic. Clay is earth, Mother Earth, you know. I couldn't work with a more closer to nature, you know, material. And, uh, you know, I, it, it just is so wonderful for me to work with it. Most of my work reflects the stories of, um, of um, my ancestors, and the, which are the stick Indians. And they all whistle like birds, and they're smaller in stature. They're very small, but very strong. Pitt shows a colorful ceramic masks. And you never see them. You just hear a bird whistling, and you don't know if it's a stick Indian or if it's, if it's a real bird. Stories are told of them that they will whistle a good person if they're lost in the woods to safety, or they will whistle a bad person deeper into the forest. And then stories were told of them as children. If we don't, don't behave, then the stick Indians will steal us from beneath our covers at night, never to be seen ever again. And so I like doing stick Indians, you know, and I like to do the stick Indians with the kids that I give workshops to up and down the gorge. Pitt shows a variety of her small animal masks. I like using the animals as uh, in uh, smaller versions. I call them my mini masks. I like using them because they're more fun and they're more intimate to make. I have lately been doing um, animals that have been, they're endangered or, or they're, they're non-existent. And so I, I try to give them life and protect them in my own way. With Fort Vancouver, it was a trading place for so many years. Fort Vancouver National Historic Site grounds are shown, including its palisade and garden. You know that Indians and Hawaiians and, and all the people came from all over to trade here. And, uh, and so it's important to keep these trading places alive and, and keep the knowledge going so people realize what it is that they're visiting. You know, they're visiting more than a place they're visiting, a, a history. What I hope my, my artwork to do is, is to give people a sense of appreciation, not only for my artwork, but my culture, to let them know that, um, that here's a person who's really proud of what it is they do, and, but not proud to the point of, of, of ever being arrogant, but uh, I love what I do. And if people do just what they love doing, you know, we'll all be happy. And so, you know, and we'll treat each other nicer. And so I think, I think that's not a small favor to ask.